All you have to do is actually. Oh, uh, God. Oh, oh, well, oh God. Well, you know, well, Are you. Oh, my. I'm trying. I can't get off the curb, man. I'm, You're stuck, tearing... on the, I'm stuck on the curb. You just tore this city apart. Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic City. This time I'm joined by COD Gaming, of course. Hello. And we are going to be doing a little bit of a different episode for the city. As you guys can see, I am not actually in the city right now. I am in just like a little module of it. And the reason why I did that was because the city is getting pretty darn laggy, and I really can't do... <laughs> I can't... <laughs> I can't oh, drive. <laughs> these I, I I forgot to warn you. These are pretty rough to go, but I uh, I can't really build too much in it. And this was a very 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 extensive build, and so here we are just as a module. And of course, Khan, you know I, I I think every video that I've made in the past little while, I've mentioned the new engine. Every, everybody's been mentioning it. it's the same thing that's holding up hover city right now it's, it's the you yeah, know you can't I, what can you do without that engine right? we're just we're all pretty hung up right now so i think uh at least resorting to doing this kind of a module build will be much much better and uh and we'll be able to at least piece it together once the new engine comes out i was gonna say is it against safety regulations for our heads to be sticking out the window you know what, actually, the thing about the uh, the head sticking out of the window is, as you can see if you zoom in closely, uh, you have already cut about half of your head open. Oh, I see, okay. So yeah. since the damage is already done, you, you don't <laughs> right, have to right. really worry about severe, the regulations. Severe brain damage. <laughs> that's, that's why you're driving the car. It doesn't flip because of the concrete physics, guys. It flips because of severe <laughs> brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes again. All right, so this is actually a huge impound lot. Um, I, I actually welded some cars. Um, so uh, you could probably hear Khan actually when you were driving that car. It was pretty quiet, wasn't it? I guess, yeah. Well, I have a glitch for you. If you hop into this car and that drive one around, well, this one in particular, look, listen to that. I have found a new glitch, I think. I have never heard this glitch before. Uh, I might be able to explain how it was done if it is the way that it was done, but have a listen. Drive around in that car. Sounds like we a normal just we just when heard you drive it. it. Oh, what? And look at your face. Back up. I, I... Oh, you're stuck there. Yeah. Look at your face while you drive. <laughs> He's freaking out. But, but can you hear drive. the wind? Yeah, it's crazy. It's yeah. Like, oh, I flipped the car. But this is actually an impound lot with a crazy glitched out car, obviously. Uh, so here you can see it's just a simple little kiosk kind of trailer office for the impound lot. Um, I had a whole bunch of cars lined here, but incidentally they were all affected by this glitch. So I had about six cars that I had to delete because they all had the weird tire glitch, which was unfortunate, but I will be adding more cars just welded up higher because this entire module will actually be available on the Steam Workshop, so you can actually piece it together on the city if you'd like, or we can all wait for that new engine, and I'll be putting it onto the city in no time. So as you guys can see, this is actually a car crusher. It's got a few little marked out areas, so right here as you can see, Khan has his little painted car, and he's I... parked in this specific area, which is in line with the crane up above there. Uh, so this is a car crusher. I'm going to show you what it does, and then once I show you, we'll hop inside real quick and see what it's all about uh, and get a little bit more detail. All right, so the first thing we're going to check out is this crane right here. I'm going to hop into the seat and show you guys the four buttons that it actually has. So as you can see, number one is the raising and lowering of the entire crane. And the number four key closes and opens the arms. So A and D will get me rotating over to the car here, and you can actually very easily do like a really fast spinning 360 if you wanted to. So it has a very, very, very fast amount of speed to the turning. And the reason why that is is because those little cars, as tiny as they are, are made entirely of metal, so they are pretty heavy. So you need that little bit of an extra boost. So I'm going to press the one key uh, over top of it actually and show you guys a really neat feature that this has. So no matter which way the car is parked, you have the 2 and 3 key. So if I press 3 right here, you can see it'll slowly rotate the entire crane head and it'll get me perfectly in line with that car. 
And once you're lined up, you hit the number four key and grab the car. Ooh, that's perfect. And then you hit one and it'll get that entire weight up into the crane, as you can see. All right, move it right over top here. Ooh, a little too far. And crush this car. Oh, it falls oh, in. That's I love awesome. the way it falls in. That's so great. All right, now watch the machine at work. And and there's your car, Con. Good nice as new. Nice, nice cube car there. And then usually I just kind of clean the mess up, actually, and get it out of the way. <laughs> so there's your car. Okay, but what do we do with these now? You know what? There's only one thing to do. You got to get rid of them, don't you? I think so. You got, it seems like you have a bunch more over here. Actually, there's quite a few, and this is essentially you, been, part of the you've set. You've been crushing cars all day, pretty much. Ooh, I'm lined up pretty good. Close the arm there. Oh, nice. I'm seeing really weird stuff, but oh, I'm sure it looks better yeah, on your Yeah, it's screen. looking beautiful. I am bringing this to you right now. I have the scrap car in hand. And I think I'll be able to do it. Yes, yes, yep. I will. Perfect. And I'm just going to open up the entire piece now. There you go. Alrighty, and uh, we're off to the races? Yeah, you definitely just... All you have to do is actually... Oh, uh, God, oh, oh, well, oh God. Well, you know... Well, Are you... Where, oh, my... I'm trying... I can't get off the curb, man. I'm stuck, You're tearing... on, the, I'm stuck on the curb. You just tore the city apart. It's okay, man. Oh. Just, no one will notice. <laughs> it's <weird. laughs> Put it on my tab. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to show you guys the inside of the car crusher. It's not uh, actually crushing any cars, but it's pretty simple in design. So right here, this is the actual house for where you would put the crushed car. So I have a marked spot right here with paint that you pop a block on and you grab your well tool. And you can just grab the chunked car from any little center point here and put it right on the block. And all you got to do is delete that block like so and the scrap car is now in place. So I'm gonna quickly pop a hole open right here and show you guys. So this is the kind of logic house where there's a bit of logic set up to put a timer on it. So what happens is these engines here will turn on for about six seconds just to create a bit of a noise to increase the effect of the car crusher. And the entire thing is triggered by a sensor which is where you actually drop the car. So as you can see, Khan can jump in and land on the sensor, which triggers all the logic. So you got the engines going, and eventually what's going to happen is this cube is actually going to get thrown out of the house. That's awesome. Perfect. Oh, it's kind of doing something weird here. Get out while you can! Ah! You're trapped in the car crusher forever! So all in all guys, with this entire module, you'll get all of these cars here. As you can see, we'll have Khan's nice looking car and my car, as well as a bunch of stock cars that you can use to play around on this module. And of course, you'll get the car crusher with the awesome crane that will pick up the cars that will also pop out the chunks of the car. And all the way over on this side here, this is kind of like the yard for the junk. So as you can see, there's a color-coded uh, junk car for each one, as well as Khan's special one, which is a pretty neat looking thing. And a bit of a scrap shelf over here. And of course, there's also the two other vehicles that we were using in this episode, which was the excavator and the jumbo dump truck, which is also available on the Steam Workshop. And there's also going to be some links in the description for the other videos that I did a while ago on these vehicles. So a special thanks goes to Con Gaming for dropping into this awesome little world. I'm so sorry about your car. That's okay. I, I needed a new chauffeur anyway, so you know. Oh, oh, is, oh is that so? Okay, well, uh, where Umbo's shall we go? Cab service right Mas here. Monsieur, where shall we go today? Onwards into the sunset. Well, if you like this video, <laughs> then be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for Endless Scrap Mechanic. And I'll see you guys <laughs> in the next one. Bye.